so this is a video I didn't really want to make, but I got to make it, right? I'm standing here at... Sorry? Who are you? Who are you? I work here. You work here? What do you mean you can't take a picture? I'm on, I live here. I'm a resident of the area. Why wouldn't I be able to take a picture? Yeah, that's okay. I'm outside of the military base. But you are taking picture in there in the front. Right, but, but what's your position? Are you a soldier? Are you a cop? Are you a police? Or are you? Yeah. Okay, so I'm a, I'm a YouTube blogger. I talk to a few hundred people right now. So. Okay. I'm within my rights. Thank you for the information. Okay. You want to read the, the... Yeah, I'm going to read it. I'm going to record it. See, that's what we're coming to right now. Right? I'm in front of a military base within my rights. See, that's the fence. See the fence? Right? I'm outside of the base. And some jack-offs got to tell me I'm not allowed to film. Okay. But it's an important issue, so I just want to tell you where I am. Right? And this is Fort Hamilton, right? Fort Hamilton is a uh, one of the last military bases in New York City. It's an active base, and they do a lot of recruiting there. Right? It's actually right under the Verrazano Bridge. You see where I am? Right? If it gets windy, it's, uh, I, I can't help that. Right? It's just a windy day in New York. But, okay, so now this is getting really interesting. Got the police. How you guys doing? How you doing, sir? Hi, how are you? I live here. I'm a resident of Fort Hamilton. Yeah, I'm a YouTube blogger and I'm doing a blog in Cannonball, Cannonball Park, my neighborhood. And there's somebody told me I can't film in the. I, I didn't go in the fort, right? Yeah, as long as we don't film the access control. Okay. Fine. You can record anything else. Yeah, right. I live here. This is my neighborhood. Okay, thank you very much. That's under Title 18 U.S. 795. Okay, all right, thank you very much, guys. So. <laughs> That's the military police, right? I didn't plan that. That was just, that's some shit that happened, right? But anyway, I want to talk about, it came right up in the park after me, see that? Not allowed to film. Okay, so now, now it's going to get ugly, right? This is the military, right? And I just want to read a few facts into the record, right? Again, I'm in my neighborhood, right? I'm allowed to be here. This is Cannonball Park. Coined Cannonball Park for fallen warriors. We have Vietnam vets. We have the Dover Dover Patrol, right? Monument, right? But here's the, here's the thing I want to read. The Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. There's about 2 million people in the Army. Navy. Air Force Marine. And in that military, the target audience is young people, 17 to 24. 34 million Americans are targeted to join the military force. Right? They recruit 180,000 young people a year. 180,000 young people a year are, 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 are convinced that the wars we fight in America right now, not the past, right now, are valid. The war in Syria, the occupations in Afghanistan, and and, and uh, wherever else the hell we are, Iraq, Iran, fucking all over the place, right? But the, the shit in, in Syria right now, power grabbed by U.S. and Russia. Right? So I'm standing in front of the Vietnam monument. I'm waiting for my heart to stop pounding. Start, stop pounding. <laughs> Military police. I never saw those guys before. Young people. Our young people in America are targeted. Right? And I know this isn't, I know this isn't a popular subject. And I know that there's military families throughout America that have a tradition, the grandpa was in the military, grandpa was in, dad was in the army, and, you know, and, and 
you know, in New York City, you have a similar phenomenon with welfare. People were, you know, three or four generations of welfare in the projects, and they're insulted when you tell them, you know, projects are a fucking abysmal failure, right? It's people gaming the system, right? You tell them that, and they, they look and say, oh, my grandpa, my grandmother lived in that house over there. You're, you're like insulting their family, but this is different. This is a, see, the way to stop the oligarchy, right? Half a, half a trillion dollars a year in discretional spending alone, right? $500 billion that we know of is spent to keep the war machine going. The current war machine, right? Occupation. Intervention. You have to have it. Why? Look, we're at the cannonballs. The cannonballs? We're at Cannonball Park, right? You have to, you have to keep the money machine going. Why? Because as I said, the answer is in the stock market, right? The stock market, companies like Boeing, companies, military industrial complex organizations that build guns and they build bombs and they build, they build, you know, the weaponry, right? To fight these senseless insurgency wars so that they could spend taxpayer money, spend your money to build it up, right? I mean, I know it, it, it doesn't, I know it sounds conspiratorial, but the corporations, right? Well, corporations are people, right? I thought, right? Corporations are people. So, because they're people, then they could make educated decisions on on uh, on on how to save our children, right? They don't give a fuck about your children, right? All they give a fuck about is profit, right? That's all they care about, right? So. But they need a young, they need people between 17 and 24 years old to keep that shit going, right? To keep the money machine going. 180,000 a year they, they recruit. 180,000 new people a year recruit. You have, to, you have to defect. You have to stop that number from happening. You have to educate children. They're preying on our kids, right? You saw the rally, the gun rally, the anti-NRA bullshit rally or because... Because they made a, a you know this false flag in Parkland in Florida. Where's the outraged mothers and fathers? Where are they? Where are they? I don't believe it. I don't believe it happened the way it happened. Right? Show me the evidence. Show me the body. Show me an autopsy. Show me something. Show me ballistics. Right? Because they create a false flag, and what do they do? They turn it into a voter drive. And they try to make it seem the Democrats are trying to make it seem like they're the they're the, 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 the crusaders of social issues. Right? When they put social issues first, that's a that's a that's a red flag that they're trying to screw you. Right? Because it's not a social issue we're dealing with in America. We're dealing with an economic problem of a very few people, an oligarchy. Oligarchy by definition is a very few people controlling everybody else, right? The one percent. We are the ninety-nine percent. But how do you stop it? The military is huge business. It's huge influence. If you stop that, if the, if you can turn the kids around, it's not to say that you're not patriotic. If you're patriotic, you won't fight these stupid wars. You won't join and subordinate yourself. You won't get involved, right? I'm no fucking 60s hippie, trust me, right? I'm your friend telling you that they're trying to, they're trying to kill you. They're trying to set you up to be in this military industrial complex that has absolutely not a fucking thing to do with supporting that flag that's not even hanging over there, right? That's the American flag. That's not what. It, that's not what you're doing. You're not fighting to save America, right? That's not what you're doing. You're over there keeping the money machine rolling, right? Fighting insurgency wars. They're instigating a war right now with Russia and China, so that they can build up occupations along the borders and spend taxpayer money on it, right? Because you need soldiers. You need weaponry. You need all this bullshit. So that they, so that their stock price can go up, right? So now you're seeing the stocks, you're seeing the stock market top out, right? Stock market's topping, right? It's a reversal at the top. 
right? So they panic because corporations have to keep making money. They got to keep showing profits, right? See, it's a it's a lose lose situation because it's not the people that are invested in those things. It's this fucking bunch of you know, the a very small group of people now control the stock market. So what I'm trying to say is. That's why I walked over to Cannonball Park, because it's a, it's a painful video to make because people have fought and died for the idea of democracy and the, you know, the, the Constitution of the United States of America. And we have this notion now that, that there's such a, we're under such a siege, under such attack from a media that lies to everybody. And, you know, because it's a corporation, it's business, it's all it is. It's business. They're they're on TV, you know, Sinclair Broadcasting, CNN, MSNBC. That's a business. The oligarchs own that and promote their agenda to you. And then people, you know, keep the poverty keep the poverty high in America, keep the, the, the minimum wage low, and go into the campuses and go into the, the poor neighborhoods and recruit young people to, to fight our fight these these ridiculous fights that aren't really fights that have nothing to do with democracy, that have nothing to do with our safety at home, right? They're turning our schools into, you know, into, you know, into police states where they got, you know, false flags, guns firing off in the hallways, you know? They're desensitizing the kids to war, you know, and aggression. Maybe. Maybe. I want to thank um, new subscriber. Uh, what's your name? Princess Perry Ban. Perry ba Banu. <laughs> Princess Perry Banu. You, you, you told me to uh, expand myself to Minds, Minds.com, Gab, BitChute, Steemit. I'm already on Twitter and Facebook. But, so I opened up those accounts. They're under construction. Thank you for the advice. Um, you know, I believe in attraction, not promotion. In terms of what I'm doing right now, I don't, I don't feel a need to promote it. I just feel like because I'm, 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 I'm very, I'm very, uh, I'm very sure of what I'm saying right now. You know, that to myself at least, and I think people are also coming to the same conclusions that we must, we must stop the oligarchy. We must stop the corruption in politics. The money grabbing, the power plays, right, and 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 restore the democracy back to the people, right? The fake elections, right? Rigged elections in America. We have rigged elections. It's not in America I want to live in, you know. It's not a place I'm proud to say I'm from anymore, you know. I want to I want to fix that. I want I don't want to see you know young people fight and die for no reason. My name is Marcus, Marcus Conti, investigative reporter, YouTube blogger, peace out.